Hey guys, so uh, we're inside my car. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I'm gonna talk a little louder than I normally would just so it goes to you guys. Um, we have a special little video today. My mom went and said, hey Sean, come get my car and give me some gas. So while we're doing that, we're gonna go and do a nice little car review. So yeah, let's go and get started doing that. So we're just gonna go into a nice little time lapse kind of thing. And then we're just gonna go pick it up, drive it around. I'll let you guys know. I'll give you a hint. Actually, the title probably will already say it, but Doge. Might have seen in the background of some of my videos, but yeah. Time lapse start now. All I can say was that was literally the worst video section. You know, like the time lapse thing I just said in like one of the last clips. Literally the worst thing ever. I forgot to change the view. So it was just looking at me trying to get out of my driveway. And at that point I was already driving, so I'm like, whatever, I can't really change it while I'm doing it. But we're here. Or at my mom's work, so we're gonna go and get in her car. If you guys already haven't figured it out, you're gonna see it in just a second. And so, there it is. A little rainy out here. But this is the car. This is my mom's car. So we're gonna take it to go get some gas and do a little review. I'm just gonna get inside the car so I don't get freaking rain and keep getting on my camera. But I'm gonna do a little quick little walk around. Nice 2016, I think. Yeah, 2016. And let's get in it. Uh, overall, really, really clean. But then again, it's 2016, like I said. So I would really hope it would be. Automatic, 8-speed, heated steering wheel, uh, heated and cooled seats. Actually, it's a surprising amount of room in the back over here. Little armrest that goes down in the center. It also seconds as a seat like normal cars. Overall, I really like it. I've driven it many times before. Definitely one of my favorite cars that at least we have in the driveway. Actually... Other than my own car, this is my favorite car in the driveway. But yeah, let me just get the camera all set up. This is probably better if I'm just showing myself instead of just like showing a bunch of random stuff inside my mom's car. Anyway, I'm going to get the camera set up real quick. And yeah, then we'll get started. So, either I can push the button, it's push start, or I can just go like this. Forgot almost no gas in it. Can't start it like that with no gas in it. So let's just go get started. Put my safety belt on because my mommy watches these videos too. Hopefully she didn't get all pissed off about me driving her car, but she's the one who told me to go and get her gas. I'm just gonna no music. You know I don't want to get freaking copyrighted. That'd suck. We're gonna go and start the review after I get gas, just so I can show you guys everything. Because a lot of things are disabled when you don't have enough gas in this car. It's mad annoying. So yeah, I'll see you guys at the gas station. Alright guys, so we're back. Just filled up. Forgot to push to start. I was about to try and put a key in there. Yeah, let's get into this car review. So the car itself is like I said earlier a 2016 Dodge Challenger but I didn't tell you what it was individually like cylinder wise so 
surprisingly enough, knowing how much torque and feel this car gives you compared to like all the other cars I've driven. It's freaking fast for a V6. Plus, another thing, I was gonna try and do like a different one, like something a little faster, but I don't think I've ever actually seen a review on a V6 Challenger, especially this year. They're just really, really not common. So as I just showed you, that's, I don't know exactly what the power numbers are, but they're, it, it's pretty good, especially compared to the Mustang. Mustang's a freaking dog compared to this thing. Overall, the specs for it, like I said, I don't really know much about it. It's not really my car, so I don't really pay attention to it too much, but it's a 3.7 liter V6. Has a whole bunch of different features like sport mode, traction control, the Cheptronics. Um, overall, really, really comfy. Right now, it's like around 35 ish, and I got the heated wheel on, making my hands all nice and toasty. Get my butt warm just so I don't have the freaking all the wind noise from the heat. Nice little car though, or not even little, this thing is freaking massive. When I was borrowing it one day, I actually had a couple of my friends go and lay in the trunk just to see how many people we can fit back there. Comfortably, it fit three, but in total there was five of them. And we still could have fit a couple more, but we didn't want to freaking lay on top of each other for that long. So, this thing's freaking massive. There is a lot of room inside the engine bay. That's because the Hellcat usually would come inside the V8 ones or like the regular V8. So with the V6, if you ever get one of these, there's like plenty of room in there, especially cause it's a newer car that you can just like put like a turbo kit or something in it. Something really fun making this like over the top, fast as hell for a lot less than the, the V8 versions. Like I said earlier, this is definitely my favorite car comparison to all the other ones inside the driveway. I have driven every single one of the ones in my driveway. At least once. And this one, by far, is definitely the fastest, definitely the most fun. The only thing I don't like about it, which I know is going to be really stereotypical, the automatic transmission. It does not shift when you feel it should shift. It like either over revs if you gun it or it under revs depending on like I said earlier how much fuel you have in it this thing gets cut so much power when you have like an eighth of a tank it just cuts everything everything about this car is freaking awesome until you get an eighth of fuel and then everything just goes downhill and goes to Schittsburg sorry my language but, I don't know. It has a bunch of different features. Like I said earlier, it has the sport mode, it has traction control off, which is kind of fun. It has, uh, also this freaking thing up, it has cruise control. A bunch of basic things, but then there's also like luxury things like the tinted rear view mirror. The uh, heated steering wheel, the cooled seats, the heated seats. I'm kind of just repeating myself now because I don't know what else to say. <laughs> All the interior is completely leather, including the steering wheel and the shifter, actually. The shifter pieces, all leather. There's actually a decent amount of room. I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but my hand. Of course you can't see, I can see the screen. My hand cannot reach the other side. If I'm sitting in like on the center console, I just barely can touch tip my hand, my tip of my hand to the other tip of my hand. I just barely can touch. I'm 
not saying I'm tiny, but that's a that's a fair distance from one side to the other, especially because these door panels are not the skinniest. Overall, this car is wicked heavy compared to like other things, but for this, for what it is, it's freaking fast. Like, obviously the V8 and stuff are going to be a lot, lot better, but for the family commuter, the fun family commuter, this thing isn't bad. You get to pay a lot less for it, for the same looks and everything, and for what my mom uses it for, just driving around town, picking up people, driving down to Mass once in a while, it's freaking perfect, especially for her. Before this, she had some Hyundai Sonata that she hated. Well, she didn't really hate it, she liked it a lot, but she works at that place we just picked her up from, or this car up from, the, her main job, and then her secondary job that she works at is Walmart. She goes and get, has carts hit into her Sonata all the time, and she freaking didn't get, the Walmart people like didn't pay for her damages, even though the shopping carts hit into her car. Not just once, not twice, but a total of, I think, five times shopping carts have rammed into my mom's Sonata. She drove like that for a while, then she just got sick and tired, and my stepdad actually convinced her to treat herself to this car, because she doesn't need a family four-door anymore, because she doesn't carry everyone else around. Everyone, like, has their own car now, and what's the point? on having a four-door car if you're basically just driving yourself around all the time. Yeah. For what it's used for, definitely a freaking awesome investment. For all the potential that could go on with this car, a lot of potential. I'm personally not going to be doing anything to this car. This car is a lease. We can't do anything to this car, no matter how much everyone wants to see it. But, yeah. Can't do anything. At all. This is why I'll probably never get a lease. It's because I can't do anything to it. And in the process of me having a lease, depending on what the car is, I'll probably fall in love with it halfway through. And then when I have to return it, well, that's the problem. I don't want to have to return it. If I ever get a lease or something newer, it's probably going to be a 2016, 2015 Mustang. And I don't want to have to return it after. I'm going to try and do a small little pull for you guys. I got a, uh, we're just on like a bypass kind of highway looking thing. There's freaking not many people out here right now. It is raining. I'm not sure if you guys can hear the windshield wipers. And obviously, I don't, I'm pretty sure you guys can hear the uh, rain from the windshield. Not many people out here right now. Not too, too busy. So now we have enough room here. It's like, there's like a big like I want to say like gas tanker kind of thing in front of us or something similar to that I can't really see the brand anymore because it's like being washed away from all the water being kicked off the tires and going on the back of it but yeah fairly fast, so that's not even in sport mode. Sport mode is supposed to make it go a lot faster because the gearing changes. That's an actually another thing. For uh, when you have an eighth of fuel, can't go in sport mode. 
it does not allow you to. It like pretty much says, nope, not enough fuel, can't do it. It just doesn't. So we're at a turn right now, or a roundabout, or a circle, or whatever the heck you want to call it. So we're just going to go and head back down the road we just came down. Hopefully with a lot less people. Doesn't look like many people are going down that way, so. Oh, by the way, that guy in front of me who has the fuel tanker, it's City Fuel, your heating oil neighbor. Shout out to them for being super slow and super safe for all their, with all their fuel and stuff. I don't want shit to be catching on fire and blowing up in my face. Plus they keep everyone warm, I guess. a lake right now and random you know those like yellow things with the big buckets on the front that like scoops up dirt all the time yeah one of those just freaking drove across the road so randomly over towards the lake I'm not sure exactly what they're doing but they're doing something one more pull just because it's fun actually I'm gonna shift it over into sport or the Triptronics. Traction control off. Where is it? Sport mode on. Let's shift it down. Let's do a nice third, third gear pull after this hill. Currently, I'm going around 40-ish. Cruising right now, like I said, we're in third gear. Oh gosh, I totally forgot about the freaking curves at the end of this. Hold on, just a moment, just gotta straighten out a little bit. There we go, nice straight away. Everyone has a different like brand pretty much. My mom has Dodge, my stepdad has Toyota, my oldest sister has a Nissan, my other sister has a Chevy, my stepsister used to have a Jeep, my stepbrother has a Mazda, my oldest brother has a Chevy. I want to say 2500 and he has a another Toyota like such a diverse family thing and my oh yeah also my uncle my uncle who lives with us has a Mazda um, it's just so random it's a random group of cars just I want to see how this went oh crap this thing is shaking shaking so much I just wanted to see how exactly one of these went. See if you guys like it or not. Because I always wanted to do one of these and I just decided to start with the funnest car that I have. I also am gonna try and get like some other cars, like not just my family members, I'm gonna try and get some of my friends' cars because they usually have some pretty cool cars. My friend Brendan has a stanced out Lancer wicked wide tires in the rear. I think they are 16s, but look wicked cool. It has like mad camber in the rear. I don't know. It just, it's just really cool. My friend Jack has an 06 uh, Acura. Not Acura, fucking Honda, sorry. I always get confused for some reason. 
Maybe because they're basically the same thing. Anyway. So I'm going to try and get some of them to get into another car review if you guys like these or not. Just remember to go down below, like, subscribe if you want. If you don't, it's not going to hurt my feelings. I'm not getting paid by YouTube. I am just doing this because I want to have fun and I can. But yeah. Like and subscribe if you want. And as always, peace out and we're out.